We're in the Malacca Strait, crossing the Malacca Strait and heading to um, top of Sumatra, Indonesia. This is not really ideal. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just done 30, 35 knots, just hit us out of nowhere. Crazy, crazy weather. day and night at sea, we had no wind and pretty calm conditions. This was the beginning of our passage from Malaysia to Sumatra, which was about 800 nautical miles. From there, we would then cross the Indian Ocean to the Seychelles in Africa, which is about 2,500 nautical miles away. We have motored for the first 24 hours of our passage. with the whole when there's a situation what what's the right move um, I'll show you what's on the GPS at the moment because I'm a little bit nervous there's a ship heading straight for us and there's one coming up our port aft that I think by looking on the GPS is going to t-bone us so I think I'm best waking the captain because last time I didn't wake him we nearly got um taken out by a tugboat. At least it's daytime. He would be up here if it was not daytime, but I can see the ships and hopefully they can see me, but I'm not taking any chances. I think I'm going to get the captain. It's just really hard to tell. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that's us. And this is all the ships around us. It's, it's just not really ideal for me. This is not the, my favourite part. Babe! I need help. I need some help. I can't make the right decision. <laughs> wait, oh, wait till the ship goes... <laughs> he doesn't like helping me. He likes to see, he likes to put me in a scenario and like test what I would do if he wasn't here. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to like just hang my course, hope that they can see me and 
close my eyes if they come too close. <laughs> Did I pass the test? So not like that. We're only doing like 15 knots, so. Yeah. I'm sure they can see us. Right? So, just a little update. I'm still on watch. Captain still has me in charge. <laughs> Uh, the guy at the front is clearly going to our port now. I'm just worried about the one guy coming up. I don't know if you can see. He's there somewhere. Coming up behind us. Should be right. I think he can see me. I'm gonna take a punt that he can see me. like you're okay it's okay and the alarm just went off what does it say collision collision course should be right should be right mate there she is over there she's getting a little bit closer i know it looks really far away but they're going twice our speed they don't stop quick at all they can't really change course very quickly so you know it's kind of up to us it's up to you baby you make a decision. Well, my decision was to move. Well guys, if uh, we do get hit by the ship and we start going down, just wanted to say that this has been great. We had our last little taste of adventure. Ah. Nah, we'll be right guys. Don't you worry about us. Made a decision, he did. He's veered us off course so we don't die. Thanks, honey. There you go, mate. We've moved for you. Not that you care. So I'm looking forward to getting out of the shipping lane. There's a ship number two that's trying to come up our butt today. Take us out. It's back there. I'm not, I'm not um, being in charge though. The captain's taking this one, so. miles away which they're doing 12 nautical miles an hour and we're doing five so they can definitely take us out <laughs> well he's not happy with this guy he could have steered cause like he was we had plenty of room there's a whole ocean and he's decided to come right up our butt Lee has changed course but he's still right there What are you doing, mate?
is our night, guys. This is uh, top of the Malacca Strait. <laughs> Ships heading straight for us. <laughs> We're in for a treat of a night. Yeah, it's a bit scary. Lots of ships. I have to sit in. I'm a bit nervous. I'm going to bed. It was a pretty hectic night with ships, but weather was good until the next day. Wind just straight out of nowhere. I'm hoping it will just blow over and die down so we can get into an anchorage that doesn't stay like this all night. We were 22 nautical miles from the top of Arche when the wind and swells picked up. We managed to get the sails down, changed course and had a few hours of messy seas and strong winds. There 
is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back. The winds dropped and Asedi Catalpa, we got the mainsail back up. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. all gone. Rain hanging around. Conditions stayed similar but no crazy gusts and we made it safely somewhere to stop for the night. Oh, we had a hell of a day yesterday and we were planning on going through the pass at the top of the Sumatra, top of Arche um, yesterday at about three so in the afternoon but it didn't work out we didn't get there. Anyway we were Punching all our way last night and we got to an anchorage just before the pass up the top there at about 11 or maybe midnight, 11.30 and we planned on going through the pass at 4 a.m. this morning when there was slack tide, there was slack high tide um, but the wind was howling so we decided to wait. Um, it's going to be slack tide for the incoming tide in about an hour so we are about to pull anchor. We're hoping today's better guys, it was not fun yesterday and the forecast looks alright. It's going to be windy but we may have some wind that we can sail with so fingers crossed everything goes well today and we can get down to you know where it's out of the wind because <laughs> it is predominantly crazy up this end of the coast at this time of the year so Bella's pulling anchor. We're in a nice little bay. It's nice and protected. It was really good to have a good night's sleep last night, even though we did wake up at three um, to check whether we would leave or not. Uh, we had a really good sleep. We slept at like 7.30, so let's see what today brings. Sunny's hot and sunny. So we've just pulled anchor from the top of Arche. We're going to make our way to the pass now, hoping that we've timed it right, everything goes smoothly because this part of the passage can be horrendous and scary and not cool. So last time we came through, we came through really nicely, but we'll see you today. Well, after yesterday's 40 knot squalls, um, started about 20 knots up to 30 and then we got gusts at 42 I think it was, which is really strong. So hoping we got none of that today. Had our wet weather gear, luckily. It was so good because it's actually quite cool here, believe it or not. The first two, three hours into this one and we should be good then. We should be starting to get down out of the high wind zone. So hardest bit's gonna be the next hour or so. Getting out through um, the current and then having the wind on the nose a bit maybe. So if we get those two things under control, we should have a good day sailing. We got the sail reef down because we don't want have too much sail up while we go through in case we get some big gusts. Still got 17 knots of wind. So we've got beautiful winds to get over to uh, this point here. This way we are and this is where we're going. Here we go. in here when it's a bad time to be in the 
in the past, so we've, we're taking that as a, a positive. If the locals are in here, <laughs> it's time to come through. All the tall palm trees have no tops on them. Yeah. They've been blown up. Decided to cut through the little passage. It was wind on our nose, so we decided to come into the Sandridge tonight and just chill. Still not been beaten. Yeah, we don't. Because Alba doesn't go into the wind real nicely. So we don't like to push her because we're, we're scared she'll pull apart. Yeah, something usually breaks when we start banging into it. So, tomorrow's supposed to have no wind, and we're going to have a much better day tomorrow. So we've just pulled up, dropped anchor, and we're watching a movie. That's it. We're just going to have a nice sleep and then head off tomorrow. It's about 230 nautical miles to um, the Banyaks, where we will stop next. Until then. Good night.